Next is Nathan Herbert, who's averaging 19 points, three rebounds, three assists, 43% from two-point range, and 39% from three. Third to watch is Demarcus Gatlin. 17 points per game, seven rebounds per game, three assists, 47% from the field. All three of those players, extremely efficient players from three and two, not so much. They're the three ones that Killside need to keep tabs on to make sure that Geelong don't blow them out early or any point during the game. Meanwhile, Killside absolutely killing this season so far, only experiencing one loss. So one loss so far this season. No, two loss, two. They're 11 and two so far this season. They're currently on a three-game win streak. They're sitting comfortable up in third place. Recently, they absolutely smashed the Basketball Australia Centre of Excellence. They just meet, beat the reigning champions, Mount Gambia, by three points over at Mount Gambia. And they got a win, comfortable win against Bendigo at home. So they're on a three-game win streak, looking to make it four. Uh, the ones to watch for Kilsaf is Isaac Turner. He's averaging 19 points per game, two rebounds and 49% from the field, 44% from three-point also. Second is Felix Von Hoff, averaging 16 points per game, three rebounds and 45% from the field. And not very often you see this, but he's all shooting 46% from three-point range. He's shooting better from three-point than what he is two points so far. And third, the big guy, Chris Patton, 12 points per game, seven rebounds, three assists, 50% from the field, and 42% from three-point range. Going into the game, Kilsap are the clear favourites. Quite a while, they've got a very efficient team, a very stacked team in that regard. Geelong have got three or four players that are really dangerous, but it's, it's whether the bench players can step up or the role players surround the three players, can, which is Gatling, Davis, Herbert, can step up around. If they can, then uh, Geelong really do stand a chance against Kilsa. But we'll see how things face up, match up in less than a few seconds. Starting for Kilsa is Pitnow, Dane Pitnow, Owen Odigy, Chris Patton, Isaac Turner and Sam Daly. Starting for Geelong is number 15. Hicks, number 10. Davis, number 11. Herbert, number 5. Gatlin, and number 14. Luxford. So, Geelong win the first thing in the game, and that is the tip. And Gatlin with the ball up high. And Herbert comes off the screen, falls a little short on the pop shot. They get their own rebound, Geelong is still in possession. They've got 14 seconds on the shot clock. Hicks, high post. Nice move against Patton and goes baseline for a left-hand finish. First on the board is Geelong with a second attempt. And to kick start things here at Kilsa on Sunday afternoon. Daly blows by, kicks back out to Pernau. Right, Turner with a step back three point, no good. Just falls a little short there, almost had it. Gatlin. I'm going to slow things, get a good possession. Up hot. Back to Gatlin for three. And he's good for three. Over Origi. Good start for Geelong so far. Five quick points. Turner. Patton. High post. Daly. Back to Patton in short corner. He's going to take a tough move, but he's going to pass it back out, but it's going to get tipped off by Herbert. Kicks to Gatlin. Gatlin nailed a three just earlier. Davis, strong move into Daly. Spin two points. That's seven quick points for, uh, for Geelong. Daly, a bit of a Euro step. Puts up a tough shot. Good defense there by Luxford. Gat, Davis. Down to Hicks, and it's going to be nine points, and there's a quick timeout, as expected. It's a 0-9 run for Geelong. Not a great start at all for Kilsyth. Absolutely dreadful, considering they're normally very quick off the mark, but this time they are sloppy and slow. Geelong really quick off the mark, only missing one shot so far. And then a quick nine points. The last three games, Geelong have been 
very efficient from two-point range, especially against Frankston. They had low turnovers, which got them the victory over Frankston. Uh, against Basel Australia Centre of Excellence a couple weeks ago, they uh, were very patchy from three-point. So a bit inconsistent there. Uh, but usually they're a great inside efficient team. They struggle from three a little bit. And they're a very efficient passing team that's able to pass in traffic, get low, good passes in, in the paint and in two-point range. But three-point, as soon as you stick them out there, they seem to struggle a little bit. But they're a tough, they're tough. So they, that's why they're sitting 10th at the moment. Just because their three-point really lacks, it's tough to outscore teams purely from the two-point range. And scoring 30 points, it's much easier to score it from the three-point range rather than the two-point. Patton down low post against Davis. Right hook. Good. And there's the first points for Kilsos. It comes to Chris Patton in the low post with the right baby hook. Luxford guarded by Daly. Daly giving him absolutely nothing up the court. Over the wing to Herbert. Herbert gets blocked by Pinnell. But it's going to be a foul on Dane Pinnell. So not Pinnell. Pinnell was up. But it's going to be... Isaac Turner's first personal foul and the second, oh, first team foul, sorry, for Kilsyth. At the line is Herbert. Hits both of his shots. He's generally pretty good. He shoots 80%. Daly, Pinnell, Pinnell, late rotation to him, but it gets it down to Patton, Patton, tough move, right side, gets fouled on the way up. So that will be a foul on Davis, first personal foul, first team foul for Geelong, and Patton at the line for two. Makes his first. So far this season, he's been a bit hit and miss from free throw, shooting only 60%. But he manages to hit both in this case. Herbert jacks up the triple, and it's going to be it's going to be a foul on the three-point line. But it was after the shot, or wasn't in the motion of the shot, so it will be side ball, not. Free throws. Gatlin inbound. Luxford. This is screened by Hicks. Luxford wide open two. And that's good for two. So it's four to thirteen. Because I've really got to make something happen here. Daily. Sent things up. Patton down low. Patton usually very reliable from the post. In. Strong move against Davis, but air balls that. Gatlin against Odigi. Fierce competition there. Odigi, great one-on-one -on -one defender. Herbert jacks up the triple, falls short on the triple. Davis almost gets the offensive rebound. Daly gets it instead, push on the floor. They don't have numbers advantage, but he's going to split the defense. Kick out to Turner. Jack shot fakes a three, and it's going to be out of bounds. Almost a great move by Turner. But the toe would have been out of bounds, so it's out of so it's a long ball, turn over Kilsyth. So far for Geelong, it's been the big guys, Gatlin and Hicks, scoring seven points between them. Gatlin, deep, two, hits. That's five points for Gatlin. And puts Geelong up by 11 early in the first turn. Odigi for three, hits it, flies back. With a three point of his own. Luxford. Over to Herbert. Back to Luxford. Luxford kicks out to Davis. Davis puts up the two. Nails it. It's seven to seven, 12 points between the team. And Daly with the really nice drive, but can't quite convert there. Luxford pushes the four, Gat kick to Gatlin for three. Pulls to the left on the three-point shot there by Gatlin, up the other end. Da 
Daly, two on two. Patton's there, kicks out to Turner instead for a three. Turner just too much left. Patton taps it out, but to the wrong team. Ooh. And it's going to be an offensive foul on number 14, Luxford. That was excellent, excellent transition defense and awareness by Audi G. Came up, set his feet early. Luxford could have, didn't have time to respond, and the ref pinned it on Luxford as an offensive foul. Great way to stop the transition offense there from Owen Audi G. Audi G, a great player, doesn't do the stuff that shows up on the stat sheet, but does everything that you want him to do on defense in the game. Von Hoff subbing in, jacking up his three. No good there. Turner over to Patton. Patton low post, very good passing from there. Turner, he finds Turner on the opposite wing. Turner can't quite hit it. Normally really good from three though. Can't quite, he has, he's missed two shots from three. Luxford, no look pass down to Hicks and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a foul on Sam Daly. And that's Daly's first personal foul and it will be, and that will be the second team foul for Third team foul, sorry. Subbing out is Sam Daly. Subbing in for the first time this afternoon is young Sean McDonald, only 17 years of age and already playing Seabrook. Davis puts up over three guys and hits it. At the moment, Geelong are absolutely on fire, shooting 70% from the field, 85% from two. Yeah. I've only missed one shot from two point range. That's going to be out of bounds on Geelong. Kilsyth will retain ball baseline. McDonald, corner, tight. Herbert on him. Going to pull out Patton down low. They've been playing through a lot of Patton at the moment. Pat dishes to Pinnell. And Pinnell hooks for two. Great passing out of the post so far for Patton. All their offense is going through him right now. Gatlin trying to bully down the... McDonald puts up right hook, no good there. Good defense against McDonald. Penau, Von Hoff coming off the screen of Penau. They're not giving him any shot at all. Penau over to McDonald to Turner. Turner jacks to the corner three, misses it again. Penau gets the offensive rebound, goes middle, puts up the right hook, and that's two for Kilsyth. Up the other end, Johns has been subbed in for. Long, Johns down low to Herbert for a reverse, and that's two. Another two for Geelong. Geelong's offense is absolutely ticking from the get go right now. McDonald, Penal, Turner to Pat, high post. McDonald for three, and he hits it. McDonald, dead eye from three point so far this season. McDonald is shooting 46% from the three point line. Johns, half a half spin, fakes out the defender, but Patton doesn't quite fall for it under the ring and blocks him out of court. Will be Geelong ball, baseline, after the block from Patton. And it's 14 to 21, and subbing, subbing in is Owen Odigi, subbing out is Dane Pinnell. Subbing in for the first time this afternoon is Ben Ersich. Open up a bit of a gap, he takes it, and that's two for Davis. There'll be a warning for Davis for not dropping the ball after the shot was conceded. Von Hoff, yet hasn't scored, looking for that three point. Over to Patton, but Patton's in a tough position, shoves out the guy, two guys on him, puts up left hand, can't quite convert. Normally he's very good from there. John's pushing the floor. Young Australian player. John's for Geelong. And jacks up the triple. Gets the unlucky roll there by number 52. Medved. Odigi. Down low to Patton. Patton spins on Davis, but Davis recovers. Puts up the right hand. Can't quite get there, Patton. And doing a lot on offense, but can't quite convert right now. Medved at the top to Herbert coming off an off ball screen. Jacks up the shot, falls a little short there. Patton gets a rebound, so it's 14 23. It's still only nine points in it. 
McDonald fakes out his player, goes for a drive and gets fouled on the way up. Really nice move there by Sean McDonald. Beating his man, going for the drive and hacked on the way up. McDonald at line for two. That will be Herbert's first personal foul for Geelong and third team foul for Geelong. Christian Rochi checking in for the first time this afternoon along with Blitzhards. McDonald, good freeze first. Usually pretty good from free throw. And gets the unlucky roll on the second. One from two for McDonald there. John's playing point. Medved. Rochi. Over to John's coming on off down low screen. Goes baseline. Puts up a tough shot over a willy. No good there. Ursic rips a rebound. Odigy, and it's going to be a kick ball violation. And it's going to go. And it's going to go up high in the stands in the top row. Monhoff inbounding. Finds Odigy over to McDonald. Ursic coming off, full screen, curls hard, goes up right side, and it's going to be an offensive foul on Ursic. It's going to be Blitzhards, he set a nice screen in. John's getting hassled by Ursic up the court, goes and break. He's going to kick to McKerney, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds from Kelso. And so, Kelso threw on five team fouls, and he fell from here, result in two shots at the line. John's at the line for two. John, so far this season, only shooting 35% from the free throw. Big, big trouble from free throw. And it hits one of two. And it's going to be a substitution for Kilsine. Well, Isaac Turner checking out. And Ben Ersich checking out. Odigy, McDonald. They're going to play a half court press drill on. Try and slow the clock up a bit. Odigy over to Turner. Turner thinks about the three. Kicks out to McDonald. McDonald's not in his shooting position. Odigy down to O'Willy. O'Willy strong move in right side. And he's good for two. Very nice move from O'Willy. That's his first points for this afternoon. Johns. Medved. Over to Medved in the corner. McKerney's going to come set a screen over to McKerney. Lowe is under the basket. Kick out to the corner of Blitzard. Blitzard jacks a three. Gets the unlucky roll. Odigi rips a rebound. Two McDonald's going to break, but they're going to slow things up. Nothing off in the fast break. Turner gets a screen by Odigi. Jacks up the triple. No good there. He hasn't been able to find his range yet, and his Odigi's going to take a big hit from two players. He's going to go down slow to get up. They're probably the toughest player on Kilsard is on Odigi. Does all the dirty work for the team. Really good to watch. This time he took a bit of a hard one. But it will be a foul on Owen Onigi, so on the rebound, it will be. Chris splits up to the line forward two. Blitz ups at the moment. Shooting 100% from free throw. Has not missed one, but has only put up four attempts, making that five attempts, continuing his 100% streak from free throw. McDonald turns it over. Rochi gets it. 
Johns up the other end. 40 seconds to play. First quarter. Rochi, great defense by Odigi. Gets the conversion. Rochi's slow to get up. A bit of knee issues, it looks like. Odigi up the other end. Kicked over. Wheelie early. Wheelie goes up. Right hand. And he's gone to line for two. Great defense once again by Owen Odigi. That's probably his third play this game where he's gotten a turnover from Kilsa just in the first quarter. He's absolutely tremendous for Kilsa on the defensive end. He's all the grit, hard work, hard hits has gone through Owen Odigi. O'Willie makes his first. He's normally only 54% from the line. Nothing special. And misses his second. One of two from the line. Johns to Rochi. Back to Rochi. Jacks up the three. Just gets unfortunate. Or Willie rips a rebound. That's going to be out of court. And that will be out of court on a Willie. Herbert checking in. McKerney checking out for Geelong. Rochi in the blitz halves. Johns. It's a screen by Rochi. Over to Medved. Back to Johns. Has to put it up. One second on the clock. And no good. But it's going to be a rebounding foul on. And Rochi's going to the line forward to With one second to play, they gave away a foul on the rebound. A little sloppy from Kilsucker. This is to possibly extend it to the first double-digit lead for Kilsyth. No, for Geelong, sorry, if he, if he gets two of these. Watchy at the moment. He's shooting 57% from free throw. Nothing special at all. And this is his first. And they're gonna, we're going to take a 30 seconds to get the clock right as they believe there was time on the clock when the foul occurred. And so they've come to the conclusion it is 0 0.5 seconds remaining on the clock. Watch you at the line for one. And he misses both of them. It's going to conclude the first quarter. 18 to 28. Geelong up by 10. At the moment, the Cobras are shooting 35% from the field, 44% from two point, and 25% from three. Only 66% from free throw. The Supercats are shooting 47% from field, 64% from two, and really are struggling from three. Only jacking one up out of seven from three point. At the moment, leading in the Supercats is Davis on eight points, Gatlin on five, and Herbert on four. Meanwhile, with the kill side, McDonald on four points, Patton on four points, and Pinal on four points.
Daly. Over to Von Hoff. Von Hoff for a deep three. Good. Von Hoff, one of the premier three-point shooters for Killside. Hits his first one to get the game going in the second quarter. Daly almost gets a pick on Johns. Getting hassled over to Rochi. Blitzarves. Gets picked by Penau. Penau over to Daly. Daly's going to push the floor. Patton down deep seal. Bit of a mismatch on him. Pass. Great pass over to Von Hoff. Von Hoff for a deep three. Just falls a little short on the three point attempt there. Patton really passing well out of the court. Out of the post. Up the other end. Herbert. Gets fouled on the drive, but it wasn't as an attempt for the goal. So it's going to be baseline ball. Checking in for the first time this afternoon is Owusu. Herbert gets double teamed corner and it's going to be tipped out. Great double team there by Kilsa. It's going to get tipped out of court, so it's going to be Kilsa ball. No pressure there on the inbound. Past the corner. Daly pushing the floor, left side, goes up for a lap, gets fouled on the way up, doesn't quite convert. Look at the head in his hands a little bit there, not converting that way out, but he's going to line for three. Sam Daly, usually 60% from the free throw. And makes his first. Hits both of them. Sam Daly, it's going to reduce it to five points. It's a long run. Blitz halves. Owusu. Over to Rochi. Rochi to Herbert. Herbert. Hits up a floater, gets fouled on the way up. Points are going to count. And Herbert is going to line for a possible three point play. That's going to be on Von Hoff, his first personal foul. And that will be Kilsai's first team foul of the game. Of the quarter, sorry. Rochi subbing off, Blitzar subbing off, Davis subbing back in, and Gatlin subbing back in. Herbert converts the three point play. Daly. Goes right side, nice jump stop, puts it up with the right hand, doesn't quite convert, should have, but he didn't. Gatlin, Odigi, tough matchup. Herbert, pushed out, the, almost out of court. Davis with a strong power move, meets a ball, but puts it up, left hand. Very nice there by Davis. Odigi, kick over to Patton, to Daly, Daly shake. Jab sets one, goes hard, kicks out Odig, Odig, then pass out to Von Hoffman, gets tipped out. And it's going to be Kilsuth ball sideline. As well as a kicking violation from Geelong. And there'll be an off ball foul. be another foul for Geelong in the matter of one second and that will be will be Owusu's third personal foul and Geelong's second and Daly scores finally after three players attempt at the basket and he finally scores it's two points Daly Herbert pulls a long two just gets off the front of the ring with an unlucky roll Daly going to push it forward it's three on Two, but he can't quite beat his man. Uwusu staying in front pretty well. Odigi. Penau down to Patton Lopez. Dishes back to Penau. Puts up the left hand. Going to get fouled on the way up. And Penau has gone to the line forward too. And that will be a foul against 
Number five, Geelong Gatlin. His first personal for the game and Geelong's third team foul. Checking it out is Orusu as he has three personal fouls and checking back in for Geelong is Luxford. Now, usually 70% from the free throw. And hits him. Herbert, nice one dribble, step back, drains the three. That's three points, Herbert. Daly. But now, Von Hoff trying to lose the man, closely guarded by Gatlin. Now spin move, left side, puts up, tough move, doesn't get it. Davis going to push it for himself. Spins, puts it up. Tough defense there by Odigy. And it's going to be... It's going to be uh, another two shots for Geelong at the line. It's going to be the third personal foul for Owen Odigy and the third team foul for Kilsa. Substituting in is Isaac Turner. Substituting out is Owen Odigy. Owen Odigy absolutely playing a tremendous game in regards to defense. He's absolutely tearing it up. And hitting one three for himself early in the game. And Hicks hits his first free throw. Hicks, usually 65% from the free throw line. Fairly reliable. And drains the second as well. Daly bringing the ball up. And it's going to be an off-ball foul, as there's going to be a, a break. Patton. And that's going to be the fourth team foul for Kusai. The second team personal foul for Patton. Picks low post with Patton, big body matchup, and Herbert gets the mid range two. Probably Herbert's one of their better shooters. For Geelong, Daly, so it extends it out to 14 points. Daly, Patton, Turner gets the back goal, puts up, gets blocked by Hicks, and it'll be out of bounds on Hicks, so it'll be Hillside the ball. Substituting in is Ursic, substituting out is Phillips of Von Hoff. Daly. Download a pattern. Pattern hard body against Davis. Puts up right hook. Very nice for Pattern. It's going to be six points for Pattern so far. He's put up a few shots, but hasn't gone out. No more. Davis up the other end. Against a mismatch. He's going to put up, sorry, Gatlin. Not Davis, Gatlin. And then Luxford gets the rebound, puts it in. Daly pushes the floor really quick. Right hand. Sam Daly beats everybody down the court. Beats three guys and gets the two-point conversion there. Daly. Luxford drive in. Meets a brick wall called Sam Daly. For now, rips the rebound. No good for Geelong. Hutt Turner's going to push the floor. Cheeky by Gatlin. Almost got the tip off. Patton, for now, Daly, rips and goes baseline. Patton rises, gets out back of Patton on the wing. Patton's got a mismatch on him and wants to turn face Daly for three. No good there, full short. Gatlin, the drive right, nice dish to Davis and that's two points for Davis, really nice dish.
Turner. Pass out to Ursi. So Ursi jacks it up. Right to the right there. Pat gets the offensive board. A little shrug move and puts up for two. Chris Patton. That's going to be a timeout for Geelong. Not liking what they're seeing, and that's going to be 32 plays, 44 in Geelong's favour. 12 points difference. Geelong is absolutely playing really well at the moment. They're absolute, if they can keep it up for the remainder of the game, but it's always tough to shoot up to keep up a shooting performance for the whole length of the game. Especially Geelong, they haven't proven to be able to do it in the past. Usually three point, they fall off. And then, but two point though, they usually are very good with their big men. At the moment, Geelong are shooting 53% from the field, 68% from two point range, and 22% from three, shooting 72% out of the free throw. Meanwhile, Cobras are shooting 40% from field, 50% from two, 27% from three, and 77% from free throw. Leading the charge for Geelong, the two guys are in double figures are Herbert on 14 points and Davis on 12. Meanwhile, Chris, I've not anyone has gotten into double figures yet. Six points for Patton, six points for Daly, and five points for Pinnell. Patton is, is really playing well. A lot of their offense has gone through Patton. He's ripping a lot of boys. He's got eight points, four rebounds, and three assists. He passed, got really good vision out of that post, passing across the court over to the weak side, and getting either a drive or a three-point attempt there, all going through Patton in the low post. Things gone. Geelong start with the ball. Kick to McKerney in the short corner. McKerney hits two. Not a good start for Kilsack. South, great. Good start for Geelong. McDonald in. Turner gets a screen by Patton. It's going to carry hard off the screen. Goes right side. And it's going to be out of court on Turner. It will be Geelong ball. Started by McDonald. Johns, nice to have on your team when you've got a big guard like Johns. Tall, athletic, good passer. Herbert, a little step back, no good, can't make it go. O'Willie rips the rebound down. McDonald getting chased by Gatlin. Scary thought. Patton, though, no, doesn't stress, dishes the pattern. And there's two points for Tulsa. That's eight points for Patton. Johns, McKerney. Over to Herbert. Herbert. Back out to McKerney for two. Jacks it up. And he's good. It's four points from McKerney quickly. Quick upbeat pass to Turner and reply, reply straight back. McDonald. Over to McKerney. Down to Davis. Davis spins middle, left hand finish. Really pretty move there in traffic and makes it go. That makes it 36 50, only 14 points, not too much. Kills up for a good three point shooting team. It's only a few shots back in it. Ursich. O'Willie. Patton. Strange sight seeing him out of the post, but he's high. Now he goes into the post. Patton passed across to Turner. Turner jacks up the three. Can't make it go. He's, he's cold so far at the moment from three. You sure, I'm sure they will fall eventually for Turner, but at the moment he's ice cold on offense. McKerney gets Herbert coming off and off full screen. Jacks up the long two. Can't quite get it to go. Herbert, very good this game. So coming in the off ball screens, jacking up the mid range twos. Ursich, Patton, passes to O'Willie, but O'Willie wasn't watching. And that's going to be a timeout for because everything seems to be in disarray at this time. And it looks like they're going to talk things over. 36 plays 52, Geelong's way.
after the timeout, two minutes to play, second quarter. High scoring half for Geelong, scoring 52. They're absolutely on fire at the moment in the first half. Just like an edge finish this quarter off. Strong a minute 40 to play. Von Hoff looking at three. Jacks a three up. Falls a little short there. Ursich gets the offensive rebound. Keeps their dreams alive. Uh, Von Hoff to McDonald. Got a mismatch on him. He's looking to play. Goes kick out Ursich. Ursich for three. Hits it. Ben Ursich. First three point for the game for Ben Ursich. Exactly what they needed coming out of the timeout. Let's see if they can hold here on defense. Gatlin coming hard off the screen. And... That's two for Geelong. Gatlin, so hard to stop off the wing. Patton. Davis overplays, puts up the floor. They can't get it to go. Pinal, though, gets the tip in. Very nice for Pinal. Rochi. Up high. Gatlin. Puts up a floater. Bonhoff played very good defense there. 40 seconds to play. They could go for a two for one here. To get up a quick shot and then milk it. And then get a second possession before the end of the quarter, which they look like they're going to do. Patton dished off from McDonald. Puts up a two. That's two for Kilsar. 30 seconds to play. Six seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. So if Kilsar could play solid defense here, they're able to get up a second shot before the end of the quarter. They need everything they can get. Watch you. Alley oop to Gatlin, but it goes out of court. Gatlin got really high there, but couldn't quite convert. Seventeen seconds to play. See what Kilsarth are going to do. And they need to take one shot here, preferably a three. They'll take anything. And hits it. And Ersic hits the clutch two-point shot. So that keeps 45-54. They bring it just under 10 going into the halftime. At the moment, Geelong have absolutely had a dominating performance and having an outstanding half, scoring 54 points. Kill South aren't far behind, though. They haven't been able to hit their threes, which they usually rely on. Only 45, but they're still in it. Only three shots in it for them. 44% from the from the field. Cobras, 54% two, 28% from three, and 70% from free throw. 56 from the field, four Supercats so far, 66% from two, 22% from three, and 72% from free throw. Leading the Geelong is Herbert on 16 points. Leading their rebound is Gatlin on four rebounds, and Herbert on four assists. At four... Kilsar Thibet is all going through the one person, and that is Chris Patton. He's 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists so far. Make sure to grab refreshments, top up on your drink, grab some food, and stick around for the second half of basketball, which is looking to be a very exciting one at this stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you soon.
Welcome back to the second half of basketball. Here at Kilsyth Basketball Stadium, we have Cup Kilsyth Cobras sitting on top of the ladder against the Geelong Supercats, who are currently sitting 10th in the league, but are playing insane this afternoon. Up, up by nine points, 54 plays, 45 Geelong's way. Kilsyth will start with the possession. Luxford, guarded by Daly. On the court for Kilsyth is Daly, Patton, Turner, Odigi, and Pinnell. Pinnell, Davis, good defense by Pinnell, forces a tough shot, gets rims out. Good start for Kilsyth. Daly, pushing the floor, gonna get a kick out to Turner. Turner jacks up the three. And unlucky on the shot, goes in and out and spits the ball out the ring. Did not like the taste of that shot there. Herbert goes middle, hard, hard drive. Davis rips a rebound down, it's going to be up for two. Patton, what did you? Almost got picked away. Turner, come off the screen, hesitates. Kick out to Pinal, Pinal, Jacks a three. Too much mustard on that shot there. Gatlin, Luxford, goes middle, kicks out to Herbert, Herbert the shooter, jacks the three. Herbert is playing very well today, shooting 19 points. And no good again for Kusa. Herbert testing his heat, no good. Turner. And it's going to be on the way to the basket. Turner's going to get fouled on the way up. He's going to the line 4 2. Turner, usually a very good free throw shooter, shooting 83% from the line. Nails his first. And two from two from the line. Count it for Turner. Did you see 12 points? Luxford. To Gatlin. Gatlin to Davis. Davis puts it up. Full short there, good defense there by Kilso. Daly. Fake pass out to Turner, Turner fakes, puts it up. No good, Turner cannot get anything to go this game at the moment. He's stone cold on offense, Turner. Herbert, or did you playing closely on him? Luxford. Jacks up the three, no good there. Very stale offense there by Luxor playing really hard up on Daly. Daly loses his feet, but regains it, keeps the ball control. Turn it to Patton. Patton takes two players, one dribble in, makes it tougher for himself. Davis rips the rebound. Luxford. Gatlin. Odigi playing really good defense. Hicks jacks up the two hits. At the moment, Geelong this game cannot miss a shot. Odigi down low to Patton. Patton dishes back to Odigi. Odigi's going to put that up. And he's going to the line 4 2. That's 1 2 play between Odigi and Patton there. And it's going to be a substitution for Kusai. It's going to be Sean McDonald checking in for Sam Daly. Oh, no, did you? So far this season, only shooting 62% from the line. Slightly below par.
it's going to looks like it'll be a shooting violation. So shooting violation on the opposite team. So it'll be Jolong Ball. It was on the same team. Not quite sure they called the violation there when it was on his own teammate, but they will anyway. Luxford, Gatlin, Hicks, sets the screen, get back down to Hicks, and it touches his fingers and goes straight out of bounds. And that will be Geelong's sixth turnover of the game. Both teams have been okay with the ball. Six turnovers for Geelong and only eight turnovers so far for Kilsyth. Kilsyth gets a screen turnover over to Odigi. Odigi great drives there. Kicks the pattern low post. Davis hard body against him. Goes baseline. Finds two players are going to help out and it's going to be a foul on the way up. Patton just... Gatlin came to help. Scared Patton off the baseline there. Really cool move. And then Patton didn't hesitate. Went the other way and put it up. Got fouled on the way up. Patton 2 from 2 so far, and Dane Pinelli is going to be subbed out. Subbed in is Felix Von Hoff. Patton so far hasn't missed tonight. 3 from 3. Patton hits both. He's hit all his free throws so far. Four from four. Only 11 points in it now. Kilsyth are slowly getting their way back if they can keep it up. But Jolong have been hard to stop on offense so far. Gatlin beats his man. Puts up a floaty. Bit too much on it. Bounces straight back out. Von Hoff for three. Not quite. Can't get anything to go. Patton, hard rebound, but no call there. Luxford rips it down. Davis, Gatlin to Luxford. He's going to get a screen from Davis. Davis casually walks up for the screen. Luxford goes a hard drive, and it is going to be an offensive foul on Geelong. will be called on number 15 Hicks to be his first personal foul and the third team foul for fourth sorry team foul for Geelong so far number 45 Chris Patton for Kilsa He's 14 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists. Absolutely doing very well. Meanwhile, on the other end of the court, Herbert is the player for Geelong. 19 points, 4 assists. Absolutely crucial for Geelong's offense. Making it tick and chiming like a well-oiled machine. Odigi, hard drive left. Gets stopped by Hicks. Kick out to Von Hoff for a leaner 3. Von Hoff finally finds his range over Herbert and nails a 3. It's only eight points between the teams now, not much in it. Luxford on the wing, Davis down low. Odigi playing up, not giving him much. Patton comes to help, but Davis somehow puts it up anyway. Davis is 18 points for Davis, all pretty much in the post. Nice drive there by McDonald, but misses the layup. Hicks is going to push the floor. Gatlin to Luxford. That will be another offensive foul on. Not quite sure. It's on. It's going to be a foul on Herbert, which Herbert picks up his second personal foul. Meanwhile, Turner and. Turner gets subbed off and Ursich subbed back in and Pinau subbed back in. Patton is subbed off. McDonald down to Pinau. Mismatch on him. He's got the point guard. 
As he puts up the three, falls a little short there, and it's going to be an offensive foul on Odigi. That'll be Odigi's fourth personal foul. One more foul will result in him off for the rest of the game, so they're going to make a substitution for Odigi O. Willis. And he's going to sub back in O. Willis. Herbert, hard drive off the screen. Ursic comes up with defense. Gatlin, over to Johns. Johns to Herbert, puts up the two, makes it. Herbert, 21 points. McDonald, goes middle, O'Willy. Bonhoff to O'Willy. Tough defense there. On Hoff, going to look at the three. Jack's the three up, no good there. O'Willie gets the rebound, misses the put back. Gatlin going to push forward, no numbers advantage for Geelong. And now, uh, sorry, Von Hoff, I'm going to have it in. McDonald gets a screen by O'Willie, but gets stripped by Gatlin. Gatlin's going to dive on it. They're going to all dive on it, and Herbert comes out with the advantage. Good defense there by Gatlin, bit casual there by McDonald. Johns to Herbert. Herbert got Ursic on him. To Gatlin. Gatlin's going to take advantage of the lag defense. And Von Hoff comes out. One on one here on the fast break. Goes one way, goes the other. Kicks back at Ursic. Ursic to McDonald. Back to Von Hoff in the corner. They're going to play up and make sure he doesn't score. But now, left handed hook too short there. They're getting good shots, Kilsath, but they're not able to convert at this stage. 12 points between the team. 53-65. Both teams have seemed to have come to a halt on offense. Perfect time for Kilsar to come back, but they haven't been able to get to quite finish off the shots. Herbert goes left side and fumbles it. And checking in is Daly. Patton checking out is O'Reilly and McDonald. For Kilsar, Medved checks in, Gatlin checks out, Herbert checks out, and Plitzarves. Rochi checked back in with McKerney. So a four man substitution for Geelong. And a two man substitution for Kilsar. Daly beats his man, goes up, right, gets fouled on the way up. Really nice, really nice move by Daly. Didn't quite finish the layup, but he's at the line for two. Sam Daly, usually 60% from free throw. He hasn't missed tonight, though. And now is it. Thanks, both of them. Or one, sorry. Johns, gonna hesitate around two players. The no look pass out to Medved in the corner. Medved, one dribble, two point, no good there. Ursi trips a rebound. Nice work there by Kilsyth. Daly. Around to Pat Ursic, sorry. Ursic gets a screen up now. Gonna put the two pointer up. And Penal gets the rebound. And that will be a foul on Rocky. That will be Rocky's first personal foul. Number 21 for Geelong. And Penal hits his first. Usually pretty good from the line, shooting 70%. And hits both of them. That's eight points. Eight points between the team. John's up top. A minute 40 to play. Third quarter. It's a, it's a screen by McCurney. John's over to Blitzos. Blitzos with good there. Daly gets a rebound. He's going to push it forward. Daly 
hard drive in amongst three players. Patton comes over the back. And it's going to be a jump ball. Kills off ball. Chris Patton looked like he came in with the specky. Didn't get pinned with over the back. It was a clear over the back call. Even he, I think, agrees with that. And instead it's going to be a jump ball. Von Hoff closely guarded. They're not letting, giving him any room. Patton looking to shake his defenders. Goes in strong. Puts it up and gets a lucky roll off the ring and puts it on for two. Johns. John's at the line for two. Blitz halves. It's going to be an off ball foul, so it's going to be two shots out of the line for Penal. And Penal misses his first. To make this, to make it within five points, the closest deficit they've been so far this game, if he makes it. And he misses it. 48 seconds to play. John's going to look to pace, but Daly's got good defense. Medved, McKerney, and he's going to jack up the deep two. Full short on that. Von Hoff's going to fight for it, but Blitzhoff gets it. Daly gets it. Kick ahead to Pan. Pan's going to slam it down. That's two for Kisos. Nice defensive play. Quick play by exactly what Kilsyth need right now. Oh, and Daly is going to get pinned for the foul. Kilsyth's third team foul, and Daly will pick up his second personal foul for the game. And it's going to be a substitution. Herbert is coming in. They're really hurting without Herbert in. McCurney's coming off. At this stage, Herbert is really carrying Geelong right now, scoring 21 points. Johns, hassled by Daly. Ooh, and it looked like it came off Johns. Looked like it came off John's hand, but it's going to be Kilsyth ball. No, it's going to be Geelong ball, sorry. Not off Kilsyth. But now. Subbing off. Von Hoff, sub him back in. Bochi and Bounty. Finds Johns, but it's going to get hassled. Kick out to Medved. Medved down to Rochi. And McDonald came in with a great block there. Great. Four seconds away. Ursic are going to push it four. Finds Von Hoff, Von Hoff for three. And he's good. Von Hoff for three points. And that's a quick five points to finish off the last 20 seconds of play. Kilsyth's come back and bring it within only one point. 64 play, 65. Great team basketball. Kilsyth have really shown up here and starting to nail their shots. Play together on defense. Geelong really haven't got much outside of Herbert. Herbert is carrying their team at the moment with 21 points, four assists. When he, with him off the court, they have suffered with only Davis. Davis only hitting 18, but other than that, other than Davis and Herbert, they're really struggling now. Haven't been able to hit much. Meanwhile, Pat is doing real work on the boards, on the passing. He's 18 points, nine rebounds, and three assists. So far, the Supercats are shooting 49% from the field, 57% from two-point, 23% from three-point, 
and 61 from free throw. Meanwhile, the Cobras are shooting 38% from field, 46% from two, 28% from three, and 72% from free throw. back fourth quarter action here at Kilsath we've had an exciting finish to the third quarter fourth quarter is sure to bring nothing but excitement also same with the ball Geelong Herbert not going to get pinned with the carry and it's going to be tipped out on Patton and Geelong will retain it six seconds to play on the shot clock Johns, Herbert going to look for a spot up, great defense there by Von Hoff but still nails it anyway, Herbert absolute menace for Kilso, scoring 23 points so far, Daly gets a screen, down to Patton, Patton low, going to put it up, loses it, gets it back anyway, goes for a reverse, puts it up for two, nice recovery there from Patton. John's going to push the floor, left side. Gets stuck, Daly plays right up on him. Gatlin up top. Gatlin spins, kicks out to Rochi. John's for three, nails it. John's not someone you want to leave over. Three so far, shooting 54% from three point range. Daly. Daly takes it in, no foul, called, going to fumble. Daly's still contending for it, even though he's on the ground. Gatlin pushing up, Davis goes in, two guys meet him, and it's going to be a foul on the way up. Davis is going to line for two. And John Davis, usually shooting 58% from the free throw. Misses his first. John Davis is playing very well today though. 18 points, six rebounds. Daly, Ursich, back to Daly. Looking for the back door, they don't get it. Von Hoff down to Patton. Patton's playing very well today. Ursich over in the corner, kicks it. Ursic for three. One point difference between the teams. Geelong is up. Daly hassling Johns. Kick over to Davis. Low post. Patton guarding. Herbert comes for a roll. Patton in low. Puts up left hand. Davis is just hammering in the post. 20 points for Davis. Von Hoff goes a hard drive, kicks to Ursic, Ursic to Penal. Daly, Patton is low, but it doesn't look like it's going to come. He's going to look for a screen to set up. 
Going to go one way. Spin. Two guys on him. Make. Doesn't quite make it. Gets the unlucky roll off the rim. Tough shot. Almost a good finish. Three points between the teams. John way. John's going to go right side under the ring. He's going to pull up. Almost double team. Kick to Rochi. Back to Gatlin. Gatlin guarded by Ursic. Bit of a young versus old here. Pinal. Mismatch on Gatlin. Gatlin's going to size up. Try and step back. Try and shake him. Goes up. But Pinal doesn't allow any of that in his rim. And that's going to be great defense by Pinal considering the mismatch. Ursic. Daly. This is screen by Von Horn. Goes left side, going to get fouled on the way up. And he was still on the ground on the foul, so he's going to go baseline. And it's going to be a substitution for Kilsart, the big three man substitution. Uh, Luxford coming in for Johns on the Geelong side. And uh, Von Hoff coming out, Odigi coming in, McDonald coming in, and Turner coming in. Coming Going out is Ursic, Von Hoff, and Daly. Patton, over to Turner, Turner to Pinal, McDonald, Patton, Odigi, going to get stuck and it's going to be out of court on Kilsat, the Geelong ball, there's only one second to play, he would have had to put that up. Luxford, guarded by McDonald, Gatlin, over to Herbert, Herbert cannot miss today, 25 points for Herbert. Turner, been off for a while, see if he can change things up after a cold offensive start, but she denies it, Davis to Luxford. Gatlin. Gatlin's going to go right side. Tough defense by OG. Puts out through tough defense, and that's going to be a timeout for Kilsyth Cobbles. Seven, 69 76. Up by seven points. Time out. We got Kilsyth starting it. Fourth quarter, five, six minutes to play. McDonald, Patton. It's going to get tipped by Luxford. Luxford gets a nice pass down to Gatlin on the wing. Davis working real hard on Pinal to try and get steep still. Pinal playing great defense. Davis, tough move. Middle puts it up. Two for Davis. Davis so far has 22 points, mainly from the post. Turner for three. Good. Turner finally finds his three-point range, and that's going to be his first three-point for the game, which is extremely unusual for Isaac Turner. And seven points for him. Herbert. Gatlin. Ripson goes one way, puts it up. Florida misses it. Good defense there by Odigi. McDonald. Patton. Low post. 
Kicks over to Turner. Turner is going to fake it. It's a shake and bake the other way. And the third player. One, not two, but three plays. He jukes out and converts. Very pretty there by Isaac Turner. Exactly what they need. They need more of that from Isaac Turner this game. 74, 78, four points, not much in it. Patrick blocks Luxford. Two on one, big guy, fast break. Not the fastest of breaks, and Luxford finds a pick, and it's not going to be out of bounds on Luxford. Unfortunately, the Kusak can get the two on one. Hicks, low, Odigi on him. Davis. Tries to shake and bake. Puts up left side, tough finish over Patton. Turner, tough driving, gets blocked at the other end, Herbert, it's going to slow things up. Herbert coming off the screen, Gatlin, Hicks, going to get caught up, Patton really good, three, four seconds, Herbert, no, Luxford, sorry, has to put up the three, doesn't convert. McDonald shakes Luxford for a bit. Patton for three. McDonald gets a rebound there, Odigi. He's going to put up a three. Odigi can't convert it either. On the wing, Gatlin guarded by McDonald. Herbert coming on off full screen again. It's going to be a foul on Pinnau. Hicks is going to line for two. That will be Pinnau's second personal foul. And second team foul for Kilsat. There's going to be a substitution for Kilsat. Sean McDonald subbing in. Subbing out, sorry. Von Hoff and Daly going to sub in. But meanwhile, we're going to have a timeout for Geelong Supercats. We're going to talk things over. At the moment, for, Kil for Geelong, absolutely, there is... 49 points between them. More than half the team's points is between Herbert and Davis. Patton on 20 points, carrying Kilsarth at the moment. They really need some uh, shooting out of Turner or Von Hoff. Either one, both of them are dead. Or even McDonald, but McDonald isn't getting the opportunities from three at this stage. But Von Hoff and Turner could be the way out for Kilsarth this far. Hicks at the line, misses his first, usually 65% from the free throw, hits his second, and extends it to a seven point lead, Geelong's way, only two and a half minutes to play, they need to raise all some really good defensive ends here, Kirsa. it's going to be double dribble, that's not what they need right now. Really does hurt for Kilsat. Seven points. Luxford gonna get close to the gun by Tony. Gonna push him one way. Nice pick off by Odie Jody. Just gonna push him for they got three on two here. Kick to Daly. Daly puts it up for two. He's gonna get fouled up and doesn't quite convert, but he's gonna line for two. It's gonna be
Oxford picks up his first personal. Dale. Hits a second, so that reaches only two possession game. Something. They almost, no trouble there. Gatlin going to lob over. Good defense there by Audigy, but unfortunately, that's going to be it. It's going to be a weak foul off ball there from Owen Audigy. Audigy, unfortunately, is going to be his fifth personal foul. So Audigy is... Taking his place is Ursic. Origi really that really does hurt for Kilsyth. Origi the best defensive player for Kilsyth. Origi and Pinal, two best defensive players. Ursic isn't too bad though. He's young, but he's still good defense. Two minutes to play. And then Herbert puts up two. This is a dagger. 27 points for Herbert. Turner goes for two. Left side finishes it off nicely. Two points, Turner. Six points, two possession game. Daly versus Luxford. Ursic switches to Luxford. Luxford puts up the three. And it's going to be a... It's going to be a support violation. The score will not count. They managed to bounce from the ring on top of the backboard, hit the shot clock, and then go back in the ring. Fortunately, that is not counted as it is not allowed to hit the support. As, as it counts as out of bounds. Ursic, Turner, rips and goes, goes middle, and it's going to be a side ball. And it's going to be the third team foul for Geelong. Ursic comes off a screen. Pinal. Turner. Coming hard. Kick out to Daly. Daly puts up the three. Ooh, just a little bit too long from Daly. Herbert. Luxford. Going to get trapped up top. Herbert fumbles it. They're going to burn as much time as possible. Going to get tipped by Turner. Turner smells blood. Ursic on the kick. Daly. And it's for a dunk, daily for a dunk. Great defense out by Isaac Turner. And it is going to be a timeout for Geelong Supercats. Only four points to play in the fourth quarter. Feels like they need to go for a quick three point. If they hit it, then they foul straight away on possession. Put Geelong to the line, make him score, hit another three, and then possibility of scoring from that or going into overtime if successful at this point. We're in for a tight one. Only four points into play, 50 seconds to go here at Kilsa. Gatling going to inbound for Geelong after the timeout. Ball gets advanced from the back court to the front court. Luxford. 
going to get a break. They're going to they're going to burn as much time off the clock. It's about 22 seconds. 40, 37 seconds on the game clock. And that's going to be an offensive foul. No score. Gatlin, a bit too aggressive on the drive. Gives away the possession. Not what you're long we're looking for. This gives Kilsat the red hot opportunity. 35 seconds to go in the game. Either they can go for a three-point here, then choose to foul straight after, put them at the line, and then they can go from there. And sure enough, Von Hoff going to go for a three. Oh, just misses the three-point. And Herbert, that really hurts missing that three-point attempt. One foul to give before Kilsoth. Kilsoth want to get a stop here. And it's going to be a sportsman-like foul. That really, 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 really hurts Kilsoth right now. That's going to be two shots at the line. That could make it a two-possession game. Well, it already is a two-possession, but it'll make it instead of a four-point, six-point. And that may have just given away the game. And then that John Keep possession. Still keeps Kilsyth in the game. Gatlin misses both free, both free throws. And that's going to be a timeout for Kilsyth. Cobras talk things over. If they can get a stop here, that would be ideal. Here we go, 20 seconds to play, fourth point. Geelong are only up by four points. Because I need a stop here or foul straight away as quick as possible if they do not get a stop. Ooh, and it's going to be a very good attempt at the ball. Ursic almost gets a tip out from Davis, but it's going to be Geelong ball. And that will be a foul. Putting Davis to the line. Davis so far season this season it's not too bad. He's 60%. Pretty good guy to put to the line if you kill South. He's not a huge risk. But you really gotta hope that uh, he does miss this. For kill South sake. This is his first. Davis absolutely tearing this game up. 24, 24 points. This is both. Keeps Kilsyth in the game. They've got to go for a quick three here. 15 seconds on the court. Ursic pulls up for a fast break three. Hits it. Ursic for three. And that's going to be a timeout for Geelong. One point between. A clutch three from young Ben Ursic. His time to shine. It's 82 plays. 83. Geelong got to try and get it in. 
Hillside's aim would be to either get a steal here straight up from the inbound or as soon as it's inbound, get a foul, make an attempt to the ball so they don't get an unsportsmanlike foul. And from there, they will assume they draw and hit the two threes, two shots at the free throw. It will only be a three-point lead for Geelong. Depending whether a then they just have to make a three and it will go into overtime. If Geelong miss both the three free throws, they just have to convert a two and they will kiss up for a win. And if Geelong hit one free throw, they will have to make a three to go for a win or hit a two to go into overtime. We'll see how this plays out in the last 11 seconds of basketball. Gatlin inbounding. Kills are going to try the best as base. Herbert's going to look to come off. They deny it. They deny it. And it's going to be five seconds in the sideline. That's a turnover. Refs are going to talk things over. And the clock played one second in, so they're going to have to reset to 11 seconds. The score table got a little trigger happy on the, the scoreboard there, and one second play when the no ball was inbounded. And that's going to be a five second turnover, a great result for Kilsyth. All Kilsyth have to do now is score a two point. They just have to go for a drive, or even just go to the line, make two shots, and the game may possibly in their bag, in the bag. But we will see how Kilsad. It's all in their hands now. Geelong really just got to play their hearts out, deny everything, and try to stop Kilsad. And it will be a timeout. The ball will be advanced into the front court for Kilsad. Kilsyth are inbounding here at the quarter court in their offensive half. In their front court. Hornhoff will be inbounding. 11 seconds to play. Von Hoff going to come off the screen, go up for a two point, and it's going to be Von Hoff going to line for a two point. Someone, probably one of the most reliable free throw shooters on your team is Felix Von Hoff. He's going to line for two. This is a chance to put Kilsuff in the lead for the first time this game. Here, eight seconds left in the fourth quarter of basketball. Felix Von Hoff, a 90% free throw shooter. That evens up the ball game. 83 all. Eight seconds to play. Misses the free throw. 83 all. Seven seconds. Gatlin's going to push it forward really hard. They're going to freeze him up. Ozzy beats his man. Panuz Panauze. And it's going to be. And it's going to be tied. 
And we're going, ladies and gentlemen, we are going into overtime here at Kilsark Basel State. Again, first versus 10th place. Who would have guessed it? You couldn't, can't write scripts up this good. Hang around. It, at the moment, leading the Geelong Supercats is Herbert on 27 points. And six rebounds, four assists, followed by John Davis on 24 points. Six rebounds for Kilsark. Ursich is on 11 points, two rebounds. Four and a half, 10 points, one rebound. Panau, nine points, 10 rebounds. Daly, 11 points. Turner, also 11 points. Patton, 20 points, 11 rebounds, and four assists. Make sure to hang around. We'll resume play in a minute. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got five minutes of extra time here. Killside Buzzwood. Killside Patton back on the floor. Down low. Davis on him. He's going to go put a hook up. And that's two for Chris Patton. Great start for Killside so far. Two points up. Luxford. Catlin on the wing. Guarded by Daly. And it's going to be a foul on Patton. Crashing into Hicks. Hicks at the line. 4-2. That will be Patton's third personal foul. He's got Hicks going to line four two fouls. Hicks, sixty five percent from free throw, makes his first. This is his second. Davis rips the rebound down, puts it up, gets blocked by Pinnell. Nobody runs onto the floor. And up, Turner's out of court room. Great defense there by Pinnell. Unfortunately, no one could retrieve the ball. Great game. Gatlin goes for a middle drive. Kicks to Herbert. Daly real close on him. Step back three-pointer. No way. Herbert knocks down a tough three-point step back. Daly right in his face. And that's going to be 30 points for Herbert. Patton down low. Gets tipped away. 
Gatlin coming in hard and fast. That's two points for Gatlin. It's going to be a four point lead to Geelong. Daly going to get a screen from Patton. Goes right side, goes to put up a tough shot. No good. Daly, Luxford, Herbert. Herbert going to go middle, dish off to Hicks. Hicks puts it up and he's going to go up for two. Subs in. Hicks misses his first. Strains his second at five points between him. McDonald. Patton goes middle, kick out to Turner. Turner jacks up with three. No good. Gonna be rebounded by Lux with three minutes to play here in overtime. Lux pushes the ball. Herbert, Herbert's gonna, no one's rotating to him. Gatlin. Herbert puts up a free kick to Hicks. Back out to Herbert. Back to Gatlin. Gatlin puts it up over to now. Good finish by Gatlin. That's seven points. It's looking, it's looking grim right now for Kilsack. They really need some frees to go. Turner. Gets a screen by Patton. Back to Patton. Patton puts up a triple. No good there. Luxford, slow things up, Geelong don't need to rush here, Gatlin, Herbert, hits a three, over to Turner, but it's going to be tapped out by Herbert, and it will be out of court on Geelong, it will be kill side ball baseline, and there's going to be a substitution Substitution Von Hoff coming out, Ursich coming in. Canal goes one way, goes the other, goes back to the other, puts up the left hand, and that's two for Canal. They need everything they can get, five points. They need to play, have a good defensive stretch here. Two minutes still left in overtime. Plenty of time for Kilsap to come back. Gatlin up top to Herbert. Herbert to Davis. Davis puts up a strong move left side. Davis, absolute menace in the post. 26 points for him. McDonald looks to go to Patton in the post. Patton squaring up. Going to take it himself. Goes middle. Tough move. Tough shot. Gets it to go anyway. Five points. Luxford closely guarded by McDonald all the way up the floor. Luxford trying to get doubled. Kick out to Herbert, not who they want. Herbert misses the three point. Luxford rips the rebound, not they want who they want either. Luxford is going to slow things up. Nine seconds to play on the shot clock. Davis going to put it up, but miss it. Still five points between them. A minute to play on the game clock. McDonald going to go for a drive. Kick out to Ursic. Ursic could shut the three without hesitation. Almost misses everything. Pinal saves it, though. Keeps their dreams alive. Patton up top. Ten seconds to play. McDonald puts up the three. They're getting desperate now. Luxford. Kicks across to Herbert. Herbert go for a lot. Blocked by Turner and it's going to be a foul. His arm was on him. 